Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Lord Lamo, joined once again by... By Selric. Indeed. Now, you may remember last time, well, a few videos ago, we were asked to get a, something for this mimey fellow. It was his wedding rings. We now have it, so let's give it to him. Great. We, oh, wait, we found your ring. Behold! Oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank everybody. Weren't they our mortal enemies in the last game? He was the good one from the last game. Uh... I'm getting married, everybody! Glasses are raised throughout the room. Well, most glasses. Congratulations, Doctor. Could I trouble you for that key? No one cares about yes, yes, the key! Happiness. No one. You, you got Doctor Stripe's bonus item. And we also caused the case of the Blessed Union of Souls. Doctor Coriander Stripes allows himself a smile. Hey, when you open up that thing up, let me know what I put in there, huh? Epic. Got a jet, man. Now, um, that key doesn't have any importance until the third game, which isn't out yet, so I don't know what it does. Alright, right, right. First things first, you let's head I to Anne Claire's room. I'll bet it's the key to the TARDIS. The key to what? The TARDIS. Probably. Yeah. Okay, now, we're here for a few reasons. One, I can upgrade a couple of weapons. I have everything Anne Claire needs, and we can get another support character. You know, every time you say our bands. name, I keep thinking you're saying Aunt Claire, and it just gives me flashbacks to this cartoon that I actually don't even remember seeing as a kid. Huh. Yeah. How goes the battle, Uncle? Every moment we draw closer <coughs> to the foe, his heels are hot with our nipping. Alright, here's your silk, and a spider silk, too. We're completely amazing. Spider silk? But how did you... Gabriel shudders. Is everything okay? You have... Is this everything you have for me, or is there more? Indeed, child, we have been diligent. And we also got your Energite! And it's all yours. She accepts the prize gingerly, her tiny hands dwarfed by a pair of thick kin Klinsman gloves. Note to the monkey visage on the side of the trophy, she looks to her uncle and smiles. Case closed, what a girl wants. It's up to me now. I don't know if it's that song. Please don't judge me. With the last item in her possession, the enormity of her task becomes clear. I won't be able to leave here for a little while, and I must and I apologize. My work must take the foray. What? No no more space blimp? Aw oh, man. Space blimp? How would that even work? I don't know, it's her support attack for this game. Oh god, kill the kitten again. Indeed. And Claire does not respond. She seems fixated on the semi and still in the growling grip of its dark program. You like him? His name's Mr. Tails. At least it was. Like I don't even know him anymore. Mr. Tails, is it? Almost imperceptibly, she slides a wrench from the table beneath her. Mr. Tails, would you like to be a real boy? Support character Mr. Tails. Yay! Indeed. After a brief search, Anne Claire looks up a book from the floor and presses it to your chest. Dr. Krangler is speaking at the symposium tonight. It is imperative that you obtain his signature. I'm afraid that we cannot, child, because of tickets. Obviously, and also... Take this one! It was a cutout from Whirligig. If anyone asks, you're 13. Ha ha ha! Grants one to the Science Club access of the symposium. He begins to herd you out of the room. Farewell! But we're not finished talking yet! Alright, let's upgrade our weapons. First things first, let's upgrade my hoe. Could you make it, like, less like a hoe at all? He takes the tool gingerly, finding its center of balance. I'm charting a course for the simple machine. Does not ask it to be less like a hoe. When I'm finished, it will be more like one. Is, is that a good thing? D do we want that? Work has already begun, and is over just as soon. You got the twin double-ended hoe! Why can't you give us something useful, like sword trucks? I, I know, but fuck it. Alright, we could upgrade either Tycho's gun or Gabe's best. This will be their ultimate upgrade. Vice, I'll let you pick. Oh, uh, okay. So first, we have Danny Phantom with mutton chops. Yes. And then we have Guy with really, really weird fetishes. Yep. Let's see. I'm going to have to go with the one I've seen less on on Rule34.com. Uh, let's go with Gabriel. I'm disturbed! Oh, dude, I can't even look at Anne Claire without thinking of the weird shit that I've seen on that website. 
Oh, just just pick one so we can end this. Game. I said Gabe. Alright, Gabe. Let's upgrade Gabe's, Gabe's fists again. We can do that, right? We're running up against hard limits, I'm afraid. Blame physics. Gabriel shakes his fists. <laughs> we need something to mount additional equipment to in addition to the 251 parts. You weren't able to make it here? Under ordinary circumstances, I could. Circumstances lately have been anything but. Okay, we can upgrade Gabe now. We've got it all. The, those manacles of the Iron Maiden, you say? Won't they hurt horribly when closed? That's right, we're actually going to mount giant Iron Maidens to his fists. I just shit myself in pure Possibly. Awe. There's only one way to find out. They weren't designed for human hands, so we'll need to make up the difference. If they weren't human, what were they? Not human is probably the best way to describe them. <laughs> okay, are we ready? If you're sure this is quite safe. Indubitably. Does, does that mean it's safe or... Ah! You got the manacles of the Iron Maiden. Woo! The searing black iron spurs inside these gauntlets hurt really bad. Ah! Psycho gives the manacles a couple of half-hearted tugs. That's they won't come off. That's what you get for not being in enough porn. That's terrible. I know. This is all quite unexpected. Hey, we can, I think we can upgrade Taiko's gun again. Oh, awesome. Let's try. What do we need? What would we need in order to do that? I believe I've had quite enough of that thing. I'm clear, and I'm on the library of the Yoga Academy, and I once saw a book called an Omnibus. There, in its pages, lay many designs for all manner of infernal weaponry. It may provide you with some inspiration, <coughs> though the origin of that inspiration is questionable. Gather the parts we need, 311 should spice, then bring an Omnibus and we shall work it out together. Oh, we don't have enough. Blah, 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 we're leaving now. I think it's pronounced Omnibus. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce a cult object. Smashy. Now, I've got my second weapon. Gabe's got his ultimate weapon. Well, before we leave, allow me to show you the new outfit, the Murder Safari. Dude, nice! I want one. I can equip that to my character if I want to. Should I? Yes, dude, that's awesome! Yes. Alright, I've equipped the Murder Safari to my character, upping my defense by 75. Wow. Now we're heading back to the symposium of the future of... Oh, damn controller! Oh yeah, you're playing with your lame one, aren't you? Yeah, it tilts up every now and again. Like a bitch. Oh my god, look at me. Dude, you're like... You know that guy from the old, uh... Oh god, what was it? Uh, Mr. Peabody show? It was the safari guy who tells about all these crazy adventures. So no, I don't. Oh, we never had the Peabody show here. God damn it. That show was awesome. Yeah. It was like Rocky and Bullwinkle, I... but educational. The speech is about to begin. I can hardly Your sarcasm wait. hurts me, boys. Oh, but damn, I am a man now. I am Tim Curry. Safari God. <laughs> In fact, you know what this makes me? Nigel Thornberry. Dude. No, it does. Yes, yes. Tim, Tim Curry voice Nigel Forberry. Now I'm dressed in a safari outfit. I am Nigel Forberry. I'm with a hoe. Not just a hoe, a double ended hoe. Oh, you again. I have to go to Bangkok yeah, on a Wednesday to get something like that. Seems cool. Symposium on the future of man. Did you stumble here off the streets? Very drunk. Yes. The keynote is tonight. Doctor Lars Krangel, of course. We have no idea who that is. Here's our ticket. Enjoy. Why would you even want to go into the... Oh, whatever. She tears your ticket with an obvious exasperation and waves you in. As you pass, she calls out from behind you. I heard what happened down there in the pit. It wasn't science! It wasn't science! <laughs> oh god, I love this game. And now the place is full of assholes. And see, amongst these assholes, one of our best friends of all time is here. That's right. The P-Doctor from the first game! The P-Doctor? Yeah, the hobo who pissed on everything. Remember him? Oh, that guy! Yeah! yeah. Clearly covering up for the fact that I haven't watched very many of their videos. It, it's fine, it doesn't matter. I, I don't... No, wait, I do watch all of your videos the minute you update. Well, you clean up good. 
good. Well, pretty good, I guess. You do work with urine. Ah, yes. Don't I look every bit the scientist? It's a great show of ruling out the points of his goal. Our little experiment is already paying out dividends. He leans in conspiratorial. Data I gleaned from the model turned a few heads of the old A. Details are still being determined, but listen! Listen! No! Anyway, I'm almost out of time, so I'll cut this video here and we'll pick up next time. Huzzah. See you guys around!